clothing and fashion. Describe an item of clothing that you recently bought. You should say what it is, when and where you bought it, what it looks like, and explain why you bought it. The last item of clothing that I bought was a pair of boots. I bought them when I went to the silk market on my day off. They are black, tall, and soft. They also look very smart. This pair caught my eye because they were simple and matched my clothes and accessories. I chose them because boots can be worn on many different occasions and still be appropriate. Also, in the winter, it's very cold here in Beijing, and it's good to have some warm shoes to wear when you go out. It is popular to wear shoes that have pointy or tight toes, but to me, this style looks silly and is very uncomfortable. My boots give my feet plenty of room to be comfortable without looking clumsy and bulky. I'm a little bit short, so I like these boots because they have a high enough heel to make me look average without being awkward or difficult to walk in. Now, of course, one of the most important things for me besides the style is the price, and that is what attracted me to these boots. My friends all tell me that if I went to Europe or America. My boots would have cost me an arm and a leg. No pun intended. Here in China, my boots are very reasonably priced. I guess that would be the final reason why I bought them. Part three: Buying clothes. One. What type of clothes do you like? I mostly like older styles, such as those during the sixties. I also like newer styles, like some kinds of punk clothes. I like skirts and dresses best. Loose types of clothing are most comfortable. I like to have nice, neat, stylish clothing too. Two, how do people choose what style of clothing to buy? Many people buy clothing because it's a new style or it's a color that they like. Often people will buy something because it looks like what a favorite movie star or singer wears. Other people buy clothes that suit them or that they will wear most often. Other people just buy clothes because they are functional. Three. Do you think the brand of clothing is important? Personally, I don't really care about the brand of clothing, as long as what I buy is good quality. Famous brands are usually too expensive for me, so I will rarely buy them. Often, I can find inexpensive brands that are just as good a quality and very nice. Of course, here in China, you can get brand name clothes at a very cheap price. Four. Why do some people buy brand name clothes? Many people buy brand name clothing because they like the style. However, some people simply want their clothes to last a long time, so they buy a certain brand of clothing that is known for its good quality. Other people buy brand name clothing because they feel it makes them look more stylish and hip. Some people just like to have that name on their clothing. I think it might make them feel important. Five, compare the materials and fashions of today's clothing with those of the past. In my opinion, older fashions changed more slowly and gradually from one to another. They faded into each other. Fashions of today change drastically in a very short period of time. Often, certain clothes will only be in style for one year or so before another very different style is in. Of course, there are more choices to choose now. Six. Do men and women have the same shopping habits when they buy clothes? No, they have very different shopping habits. Often, men will shop less, and only because they need new clothes. They often do not buy much, and they will spend less money on what they buy. Actually, I think that they dread shopping, and probably would rather go to the dentist. Women buy clothes more often, and usually pay more for their clothing. Often, they will buy new clothes because they want to be in style. I think women also don't mind spending money as long as it's their boyfriends or husbands. Seven. Sometimes factory workers and very often school students 
have to wear uniforms. What do you think of this? I think it helps reduce competition in the work or school area. When the workers or students don't feel that they have to keep up with someone else's clothes or style, they are able to concentrate on work or study. The bad side to it is that if the uniform is uncomfortable or does not look very smart or stylish, it makes work or school unpleasant for some people. Also, it can make people feel that they have no individuality and they are just like everyone else. Fashion. Eight. How much do overseas fashion trends influence China? Overseas fashion trends, especially the Korean styles, greatly affect the styles in China. For young people, dressing like the young people do overseas is very important. Often, a style will come into China a bit later than it does to the rest of the Western world, but when it catches on in China, it spreads very quickly. When you travel to cities such as Shanghai or Dalian, you can really see the influence of foreign fashion here in China. Nine. Do you think it is good that people in China follow foreign fashion trends? I think many Chinese feel better about themselves if they dress more fashionably, especially for young people. The way they dress is like their status, though dress is very important in all levels of society. With TV and fashion models and more money here in China, it is a lot easier to follow these trends.